Hey Hornets, Andy Beaton here with an update as we move into distance learning after Thanksgiving. The word that comes to mind when I think about uh, distance learning is endurance. Ask a cross-country runner about endurance and what they will say is that uh, enduring something is uh, the power of enduring an unpleasant or difficult process or situation without giving way. And that's really what we're doing in this pandemic. Um, it is a marathon, not a sprint. And we understand uh, the difficulties that you're all going through, and we're all going to work together to get through this. So our updated distance learning schedule will begin on Monday, November 30th, after Thanksgiving. For the basics for you, the school day will continue to be 8.30 in the morning to 3.30 in the afternoon, Monday through Friday. Each day, your teachers are going to post daily assignments or activities on Schoology by 8 a.m. And every period, every day, you are either going to attend a synchronous Google Meet as assigned by your teacher, or you're going to submit a completed attendance-based assignment by 3.30 at the end of the day. It's basically what your day is going to look like Monday through Friday. Our academics consist of asynchronous work, the ABAs that you're aware of. These are akin to your participation in class and those would have to be done by 3.30 each day. You will also have synchronous meetings, as I said, and teachers are expected to host at least two synchronous classes each week. We don't have them do that every day because you can imagine what your day would be like if you had six or seven uh, synchronous meetings on the computer on a daily basis. So we have, think that variability is really important. And just as we were in face-to-face, -face, um, students will have homework uh, to do outside of their class time not tied to attendance, but tied to the gradebook. So you can expect to continue to have reading, papers, projects to complete, just as you would if we were face-to-face. -face. All right, so a typical schedule, um, or I should say a sample schedule that is here. Um, I want you to look at the times first. Um, from 8 o'clock in the morning, teachers will have office hours available. These will be by appointment. And in the afternoon, at 2.55, teachers will have office hours available and those will be drop-in. In between, periods one through seven, will be seven 45-minute periods, and we have a long uh, break in the middle of the day, 45 minutes for lunch, some time in between each class, uh, but a sample schedule could be for this student on Monday. It looks like they have three synchronous meetings, which I highlighted in yellow, and others that they have a student prep, and they have three asynchronous ABAs to complete that day. On Wednesday, we have something called Flex Wednesday, which you experience for the first time on the 18th, where teachers can assign students to um, a period to come in in a synchronous meeting to get extra help, remediation, enrichment, and so on. And uh, I think it's a slick schedule, and we'll talk more about it in the slides coming up. All right, so on those Wednesdays, um, you as a student could be assigned to one or more uh, Flex on that Wednesday. If you are assigned through campus, then you need to show up. We take attendance for those students. And the schedule is by subject. Uh, same bell schedule, um, but it's by subject so we don't have crossover and co competition for the same students. So you can see the order throughout the day is math, science, English, social studies, world language, fine arts, and electives. So a student could have a meeting request for a math teacher in the morning and a Spanish teacher uh, in the afternoon and so your day would vary. For students who are not assigned, um, they can opt in if there are seats available in a class. Let's say your math teacher selected five kids to come to a meet, but they have open seats for 15. You could opt in to be able to get help from your math teacher. Those that are not assigned um, will not have an ABA on that day, uh, but they could have and we will have assignments and activities to do per Schoology and per their teacher. So for all of you, how to do this, if you haven't done it already and you did it on our first time, and if you saw the screencast, you'd go to the campus function, you'd go to the calendar button, you click the day, and you would see where your assignment is on that particular day. Um, often the Google Meet link will be in here in campus, but it also will be in Schoology as normal. All right, so when you're in a Google Meet, some reminders for all of you. Um, on any day of the week, we want you to arrive on time just as you would when face-to-face. Your teachers are likely to request to have you turn your camera on when doing a discussion or in a breakout room just for your engagement in class. 
So be mindful of that and respectful of that request from your teachers. If you have a concern, please reach out to them. Um, if you don't respond when your teacher calls on you or you leave a meeting or a breakout room without communicating, that would be like walking out of class without permission. So you might be marked absent. So be mindful of that. This is school that we're doing every day. If you're obviously experiencing any connectivity issues, please let your teacher know. Attendance. Uh, this is, again, I remind this every time I have a chance to talk to you that school is not optional. If you don't submit your daily attendance-based assignments or participate online uh, when requested, you are absent and you could be truant. Uh, we've done a great job. We did a great job last spring in distance learning. We did a great job in hybrid. Our attendance has held and been strong. We'd like to continue with that. And so uh, remember, it is uh, not an option. You have to come to school every single day. Teachers, as I said before, will have office hours, 8 to 8.30 by appointment, and 2.55 to 3.15 at the end of the day for drop-in. And we also created that window at the end of the day so you'd be able to complete and wrap up any attendance-based assignments. Thinking about assessments, uh, when we do assessment in school, it's to be able to provide you with feedback to improve in a subject area. It provides teachers feedback about how their instruction is working. And it also is about evaluation um, for your grades, how much you know about a subject at a particular time. One thing that is really important to think about is academic integrity and honesty, and this will carry you forward. And that is really about the commitment to and de demonstration of honest and moral behavior in an academic setting. Behind uh, or besides the consequences of getting caught for academic dishonesty, um, for credit, um, it's also a, a loss of trust with your teacher and your reputation when you when you violate that trust. Sometimes your teachers will allow you to use resources on exams. Sometimes they won't. Uh, we expect you to follow those directions so you can really show your work. And ultimately, this is about learning, uh, not just about points. So make sure you're following those directions and maintain that academic integrity. All right, some questions going forward. Um, if uh, Just like when we were doing uh, mitigation in the hybrid, Question is, should I still contact Edina High School if you test positive for COVID or you're close contact with someone with COVID? We'd like you to continue to contact the high school. Uh, we will have circumstances where we are bringing in students to school at, at some point for extra support, um, special ed programs. Um, we're hoping to get activities up and running after this uh, executive order um, is done. We hope to bring kids back to school over time. So yes, we still want to be able to contact Trace and find out our circumstances in Edina High School. Um, can you work? Can you have a job when we're in distance learning? You can have a job, but you shouldn't be working during the school day. It's, imagine if we were face-to-face -face and you told your teacher, I'm not coming today because I have a shift at Caribou. Well, we wouldn't excuse that. And if you have a boss that's trying to uh, assign a 16 or a 17-year-old to work at Caribou during the school day, you just give me their number and I'll call them. You have responsibilities during the school day to focus on your academics. Can you use notes when taking your exams? Sometimes follow the directions of your teachers. Uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends. So make sure, again, that goes back to that academic honesty and integrity. And when are we coming back? Um, I can tell you we have a strong desire to bring you back. We want you to be back here in school. We want to be working with you face to face. The same numbers that got us into this situation into distance learning We'll have to see those numbers um, going in a positive trend the other direction over a significant period of time for us to start reintegrating students back to school. But it'll happen. It will happen. All right, the final word um, is about grace. Um, this message is for teachers. It's for students. It's for parents. It's for administrators. Um, grace is about presuming the best intentions. Everybody is trying their best. We're trying to put together a great product for kids. Students are trying to do their very best to uh, maintain the expectations of their teachers. Everybody needs to show some grace, uh, and we're all doing the very best we can. So in that, uh, be slow to anger and quick to forgive um, when things don't go perfectly, because they won't. Uh, I promise they will not always go perfectly. So, And also maintain hope uh, about yourself and our world. We will get through this. I am confident in that. We have to convey that message to our young people that we will get through this. And um, I really wish you well and a really excellent time with your family over this Thanksgiving break. Take care.